Welcome back, everybody. This is going to be part two of our uh, Sectors of a Circle, uh, Lesson 32, Homework Review. And so, again, a lot of this is going to depend upon the central angle of the circle we're using. So whether we're trying to find the arc length or the area of the sector, a lot of it has to do against central angle and therefore the part of the circle we're dealing with. Here, question number four, the area of the circle is 18 pi square inches. So we know the area. And the area of the sector of the circle is going to be 6 pi square inches. Then which of the following must be the sector's central angle? Well, here we're trying to find the, uh, we're dealing with the area of the sector. So remember we find so the area of a sector. So area of a sector is equal to theta, the measure of the central angle, over 360 degrees times pi times r squared. And so the pi r squared, this is the area of the circle, the full area of the circle. Okay, and so, and then the area of the sector, well, we already know that, so we're just f filling in information. The information in this case, uh, areas, area of the sector is 6 pi equals theta over 360, and the area of the full circle, pi r squared, is going to be, in this case, 18 pi. So the goal now is to find the measure of theta, the central angle. So we're going to divide both sides by 18 pi. Well, the nice thing is that the 18 pi divides are here, and the pi is divided on the left side, leaving us with really 6 over 18, or 1 third. So 1 third equals theta over 360. And if we multiply both sides by 360 degrees to get theta by itself, we find out that theta is equal to one third 360 or 120 degrees. And so the answer for number four will be 120 degrees. That's the measure of the central angle. So uh, it really does help to write down our formulas and know which one we're dealing with. And then of course, just fill in information that we have there. So this uh, hopefully was, was not so bad as you thought it may be because you weren't sure where everything goes. If you weren't sure, this is the best reason why to write out the formulas we have and work around from there. Question five, Luca is designing a propeller system that consists of three blades, each of which is identical. The blades are sectors of a circle that have radii of four inches and central angles of 20 degrees. So each one of these is the same. So the angles are each 20 degrees. And each of the radii are four. Now it says here that blades are made from steel that weighs 16 grams per square inch. And so now what we want to do is find the total area here. Now, we could, in this case, do each one separately and multiply three, which is fine. We will do it that way. We can also see, in this case, if we were to combine this to one giant sector, it would be the same exact thing. So let's take a look here. So again, we have area of a sector is equal to theta over 360. So we're going to find the area, the area of each one separately. And therefore, afterwards, we're going to then multiply by three because that's the that's each propeller, so multiply by 3. Okay, so theta over 360 times pi r squared. Okay, and so now what we have in this case is going to be area of sector is equal to 20 over 360 times pi times 4 squared. Now, 20 over 360 is going to be, well, it's going to be, um, let's see now, what zeros divide out. And I believe in this case, 2 goes to 36, 18 times. So we have 1 over 18 times pi times 16. All right. And so that becomes 16 over 18 pi. And that really is becomes, in this case, um, 8 over 9 pi. Now, that's the, that's the area of one propeller one propeller okay so that's but that's only one so we have three of them so we're going to multiply this go upwards here and multiply by three so three times eight pi over nine eight nine eight nines pi well that's the out to eight over three pi 
So that's the total area of all three blades. Okay. And now it says here, if each blade weighs 16 grams per square inch, we're going to take this 8 thirds pi and multiply by 16 to get the, the, the weight to the nearest gram. Okay. So we'll break our calculator. We're going to go 8 divided by 3. So 8 divided by 3 times pi. And so the total... The total area will be in this case 8.37758041 square squares. Uh, I believe a square inch uh, inches. Yes, square inches. Okay, but then it's 16 grams per square inch. So now it's going to multiply that by 16. So I take our answer. Going to hit multiply by 16. And so now our weight is going to be. 134 so so in this case we multiply it by 16 we get 134.04 and so here it's the nearest nearest gram we get in this case so we have we have multiplied this by 16 we get a hundred and I believe it says here in this case a hundred and thirty four we said 134 grams Okay, so that's going to be, this will be our total weight of the propellers. Okay, now we can also do this another way. Okay, so our other way of doing this, ladies and gentlemen, would be here of just going straight into, straight into our, uh, or combine the three angles together. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to erase this here, and we'll see in this case whether or not we get the same exact situation. All right, so. Will we get three times eight thirds pi? Well, let's take a look. So we have in this case, we know instead of using 20 and 20 and 20, we use 60 over 360 times pi r squared. So pi times four squared. Well, 60 over 360 is one sixth. So one sixth pi times 16. Well, this implies out to eight over three pi. And again, Multiply us by 16 will give us back the same exact answer of 134 grams. So we see in this case they can do either find each one separately or combine them into one giant sector because really you're kind of pushing them together. Okay, so with that, we'll end part two of our homework review. I hope this was helpful, you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, um, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments section below. Any comments, any suggestions, we really appreciate it, though. Uh, if you found this helpful, please give this video a like. Appreciate that. And of course, if you are new to the channel, which hopefully at this point you're not new, but if you are and have not yet subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and make sure to turn on notifications so that you'll be alerted when new videos are dropped onto the channel. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate it. And I hope that everything, every, all you guys are well. Take care and be safe.